Sports for NBA Basketball. Kevin Harlan here, and I'm joined by Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sidelines. We've got the San Antonio Spurs taking on the Washington Wizards. Here we go. It'll be the Wizards off the tip. Right, looking around. Outside, Brzingis. Peel with it. Guarded now by Duncan. It's stolen by Duncan. Johnson left side. Out to the right wing. And Duncan gets double teamed. Pass to Del Negro. Duncan down low. Launches it. Four on the clock. And the Wizards with possession. Jumps up. And finished off by Beal. That's a terrific play and a good sign. This team needs Porzingis to facilitate as well as score the ball. Duncan at the elbow. Second shot opportunity. Elbow shot. Duncan with another miss. The drive by Beal. And shot on the way. And it's good off the back rim and in. Nice floor awareness that time from right. Spots the gap and then finds the open man. To the inside. There's the double team with Abdia. Duncan trying to break loose. Robinson finishes in the paint. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Beal gets a wide open look. From outside, off the mark. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldrin. Well, I caught up with Greg Popovich. He understands they're facing a team that can put up points in a hurry. He said they need to put forth a great effort defensively to prevent scoring runs. They can't afford to let those guys get hot and stay hot. We'll see who wins the battle of wills here tonight. All right, David, sounds like they're very concerned about preventing an early run by their opponent. No doubt. You don't want to play catch-up if you can avoid it. They're going to lean on their defense to try to keep this game in check. Yeah, and you know, it's a tall task. Great offense tends, in most cases, to beat great defense. They've got their work cut out for them. There's Beal with the three. Trains it from beyond the arc. Beal's got seven points in the game. And with a smooth, fluid release, Beal's jumper does wonders for his team's offensive position. Porzingis with the block. And they get it back. No good from Duncan. Wizards leading by five. A wide open look here for Porzingis. And again, Washington with the triple. Nice play, and you can see they're gathering momentum. Yeah, you know, they need to stay aggressive here. Build the lead up while they've got the chance. Don't waste this opportunity. From T. Johnson. Again, the miss by the Spurs. It's tipped. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Duncan outside. Again, the miss by the Spurs. And, and he has definitely been struggling in this quarter. You know, guys, it seems to me as though he's over anxious. He seems to be pressing, trying too hard, moving too fast. Just needs to calm himself down and wait for good shots. And now the first timeout called here for the Spurs. So it's Johnson who brings the ball up for San Antonio. 11-point game. Purdue the screen to the paint. They need this. That's good by the big man out of Vanderbilt. Will Purdue. You know, when the defense allows Purdue to get that kind of positioning inside, there's not a whole lot you can do about it. He's just got too much size. When you 
find yourself up double digits in the first quarter, you know you're doing something right. Well, they're doing everything right. How about that? I mean, this could turn into a blowout very quickly. Challenging the bigger defender, cutting him down to size with that one. Well, the size mismatch is no problem for this fellow guy. I mean, how much do you like seeing that aggressiveness from him? Yeah, they've built up this lead three points at a time. And I like the strategy. It's a great strategy. Bury those threes early, and it'll open up the inside for them later on. From past the arc, Purdue no luck. I'll tell you what, the defense was lucky there. I mean, leave him that open from range, he'll typically knock it down. Inside. And here we go. The Wizards fast break. Porzingis has got the ball. And he gets it to go. Porzingis has got eight. Their play on both ends has been superb. We, we'll see if they can maintain the momentum. And, you know, nothing like getting an opponent on the ropes early. You love that. You're on that side of the scoreboard, and they are landing some... Haymakers now. Bradley Beal, he's been the guy making things happen for Washington. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. And guys, we've seen a competent looking Wizards team out there. Well, when you control the glass, you control the second chance opportunities on both ends. And you know, their rebounding advantage has been glaring, simply outworking them on the boards for that entire first quarter. Here's Jackson. Lock at six. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. Wizards leading by 14. Outside, Beal. Here's Del Negro. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. To the middle. Wants to get it to Duncan and does. Oh, you, you've got to be able to deliver when you get a bunny like that. That's just too easy of a shot to miss. It's stolen by Duncan. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Thanks very much. Now, Kristaps Porzingis famously earned the nickname the Unicorn for his combination of size and skill. Former All-Star, injuries have held him back. But now a new team presents a new opportunity. KP says, I'm going to take my game to the next level because my body is going to be healthy, and that's it. Well, Kevin, let's hope so. Absolutely. He has had injuries along the way. But the talent is obvious. David, thanks. Pass to Avdia. The wide open look here for Kuzma. Knocks down the three ball. Kuzma's got his first bucket of the game and he's on the board for three. Now here's Jackson. Ice ball boomer by San Antonio. Here's Robinson. And he lays it straight in. Eight points for Robinson. The defense trying to pull out every single stop it can against Robinson inside, but his size and strength, too much for him. Back to Beal. Let's the three fly. And the Wizards hit again from deep. Unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flame. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming, attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. Back to Morris. Kuzma, right side. It's Beal on the wing. Charity stripe shot. And Washington again with the bucket. And there's not an area on the floor where Beal can't do damage. He is a handful for any defense he goes up against. And Duncan throws it down. Man, he sure can get off the floor. He's one of the best in the business, absolutely. Boy, he makes it look easy. He is an absolutely imposing finisher around the rim. And we continue to see Beal improve as a playmaker. Beautiful pass there. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over.
Spurs trail by 17. A minute 50 left in the second quarter. I'm really on what? Down low. Here's Purdue. The kick out to Williams. What are you on? What are you talking about? Misses the three. That's excellent what defense right about? there on the perimeter. Go ahead, one. report me. <laughs> Thank you for the compliment. Right. <laughs> the and Kuzma has it in the corner. And the Wizards hit again from Thank you for the compliment. And Check my YouTube. This is in a perfect rhythm. And you can see how they're finishing their plays. Mm -hmm. This is borderline ridiculous. You leave somebody open, and they're going to make the shots. It's that simple. A costly foul there. He'll shoot three free throws. Yeah, he, there was definitely some. I'm open. I'm shooting. That's it. Gonna, you just gotta take a second, look at my YouTube, look at my record, and you're gonna see. I don't even use this team, by the way. My actual team is Boston, so imagine. Out of bounds, Washington takes possession. Nah, I mean, I could play park, but. What are you talking about? I mean, I got a three if you got a three. Here's Washington. Or a pro am if you got a pro am. Out to the uh -huh. wing. Here's Kispert. And, and what? Uh, the new one talking about? Yeah. Of course. Always. Jackson looking around. Pass to Williams. I'm actually posting some games in Park on my YouTube too. That's not a fact. Porzingis. That's the kind of deal. Regular shit for me. He's trying to get content on right who They were all over. Over to the wing. Now Gafford, he's guarded by Purdue. And the dunk by Porzingis. Talk about execution on the offensive end. They're leaving nothing on the table right now. Yep, they're starting to stretch this lead out. Too much offense to keep pace with. Jackson has the open look. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. To the wing right side. Kispert wide open. He fires. And again, Washington with the triple. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. And don't leave out the coaching staff here now. I mean, their game plan has been perfect. And so it's the Washington Wizards finishing the quarter up by a whopping 24 points. A look at the field goal percentage numbers tells the story. <laughs> you literally things on yourself. Today. What are you talking about? We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. If I'm playing zone, hit threes. That's all you got to do. Us, we'll find every out every defense got a weakness. You just got to know how to play. To gonna turn it over. I got no paint defense. So all I got is Gafford and, and Przingis. You should have been killing <laughs> You should be killing me right now in the paint. And I tell you what, more brain neutral plays like yeah. that and have a hole deeper than the one they're already in. You, you, how can you forget about him? I mean, he's not going to miss that open of a look. Inside. Here's Robinson. Avery Johnson, the little general, getting the assist right there. Assisted. David Robinson is dependable as ever from the floor. Shot over 50% during his career. Right outside. Here's Kispert. No good on the triple. Duncan outside. And the rejection by Gafford. Hey, with that length, Porzingis is always a threat to block shots. I mean, when he matches that length with really good energy and awareness, he can be a good defender. I mean, that's a tough break for the D. I mean, he took the hit and drew the whistle. Yeah, but he was late to get there, so the referee couldn't give him a free pass on that one. This has been a one-sided affair. Yeah, they've done a nice job of extending their lead and maintaining that intensity level. And it goes out of bounds. That went off Robinson. Getting the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Wizards ownership has promised to never hit the hard reset button. We saw from teams in recent years like the Sixers. But 
the fact remains that this is a franchise that last enjoyed a 50-win season in 1979. So for the patient, diehard fans in the DMV, it seems the wait for a true contender may take a lot longer. Kevin? San Antonio. Uh, well, time will tell, David. Thanks. And he'll be shooting his first free throw of the game here. And quite simply, Beal is an all-NBA player in our league, a multi-dimensional guard who does many things well, especially scoring the ball. To the left wing, and here's Przingis for a three. The rebound by the Spurs. To the middle, and they call the foul, so he's got the and-one chance here to make it a three-point play. First personal foul. Hey, even when the defense gets physical and tries to rough up David Robinson, he does a really nice job staying with it and concentrating on his shot. And it's right with the ball for Washington. And the wide-open shot from Abdiya. Trills the three-pointer. Abdiya has got six. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Boy, it's been a three-point barrage. They came out gunning and have not stopped. The Spurs have made two and missed two at the line tonight. And he makes the first. Boy, El Negro plays with a lot of confidence and good at spacing the floor, and he's a reliable scorer. Fast break points aside, they've had a tough time offensively. Yeah, trust is what they're, they're missing, guys. You've got to keep moving the ball and shoot with confidence. Ultimately, things will happen well when you play together. And that one's good. Right. You got to switch to man to man. I could shoot with, with whoever. It doesn't matter. Just, really you should be doing man to man. Man to man, attack the paint, give you another nigga on the corner, and then you should have three. Make me have to rotate. Shoots a fader. You have shooters in this team, bro. You know what, just a little fancy on that possession there. Just go up in rhythm. The shot's good from Gafford. When you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. You know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. Right side, Robinson. Third quarter here, and three minutes have come off the clock. Nice D from Porzingis. Takes a three. Just five on the clock. And they recover it. And it's Beal in the corner. From downtown. Count it. And he's now eight of nine. the floor and this is the game plan for him he's a big part of their floor space and you know what it's all about the long distance game for him tonight he's getting it done from out there fades he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance you got four shooters bro i mean just throwing him four on the offense and i just a regular shooter i'm talking eight plus shooters the size and length to capitalize there. But if your game plan is going to be try to post through a long, you know, far post with, with Tim Duncan, that's not going to work. Over that's that. Outside Beal. That's off. Off target with his three. And the Spurs with position. You have Sean Eddie in person and Vinny Negro in the game. You don't need an actual point guard running the point because all you're doing is going to the paint. We gotta make somebody else threatening because I'm gonna focus on Tim Duncan all game. Beal from long range. It drops. That's his ninth field goal of the contest. A blistering hot nine for 11. And that's a foul called on Bradley Beal. That's his first foul. The Spurs making a switch here. Fourth team foul. Spurs substitution. Will Here's Person. Monty Williams. 
outside Williams. Yeah, he's scared. They could all shoot. Person could shoot. Sean Elliott could shoot. Jimmy Donnell could shoot. We got shooters. Pass to Avdia. And finished off by Avdia. Oh, you hear that sound? That's uh, the yep. flushing of the toilet oh. right there. <laughs> Greg, a fierce two-hander. Max Force throwdown. And at the end of the third quarter, a huge lead in this one may already have been decided. It's the Wizards running away with it. We'll be back shortly, live from Washington. 26. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. And so it's Washington with it. Beal deciding where to go with it. The kick out to right. Six to shoot. The open shot by Beal. Fires the jumper from the corner and nails it. Beal's got 27. And this is Beal at his best. He's cooking with Reese and his teammates need to keep feeding him. Pass to Purdue. Jackson in the corner. Outside, Davis. San Antonio needs to get off a shot here. They grab their own miss. Gets it to go. That one good from Purdue. Well, you can't give him any room to maneuver on the board because once he does, he's going to make you pay. Here's Beal. The Wizards working the ball around now. Back to Kuzma. Outside, Beal. To the paint. The shot's good from Kuzma. You know, once Kuzma has the position he wants inside, he does his thing fearlessly. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. And here's Davis for three. No good. Shot missing. And Washington the other way now. To the right side. Outside, Beal. Pass to right. And Kuzma has it in the corner. And again, Washington with the triple. The timing, the rhythm. Kuzma really does a nice job catching the defense off guard with those catch-and-shoot jumpers. Here's Rose. And it's Davis missing. So it's the Wizards now. A great fourth quarter, just giving up two points. Kuzma. The three-pointer, no good. And it's Jackson with the ball, bringing it up for the San Antonio Spurs. On the wing, Davis. Here's the three. Again, the miss by the Spurs. And if they know what's good for them, that's the way they'll defend against him every time he takes the ball on the three-point lane. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Wizards. Well, you know, throughout this game, they've shot the ball extremely well from downtown. Their shooters are getting open and letting it fly. And on top of that, they're getting a lot of points off assists. And it's always a good sign when your team is working as a cohesive unit. Shot from the wing. Jacks up a three. Tim Duncan grabs the miss. And here are the Spurs. Here's Johnson. Pass to Duncan. Tim Duncan scoring inside. Duncan is not messing around when he's in this deep. All business. Very assertive and effective. Javier with it. Here's Kuzma. His three-pointer is off the mark. If you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. In the corner, it's Robinson. Misses the lamp. He had him with that bump thing. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on him. 
Nice shot by Porzingis. You know, one of the things I love about Porzingis' game, he's really a terrific catch and shoot guy, especially for a seven footer. Here's Robinson. And block. That one goes careening off the glass. Outside Beal. Kuzma outside. Back to Beal. For three. Trains the three pointer. Beal's got 31 points. And credit the whole team. It was a focused, concerted effort to put this one away. Yeah, what a time to put the hammer down. Any hope of a comeback diminished. For the three. And again, Washington with the triple. They made the most of their opportunities looking comfortable and locked in throughout the night. Boy, they've given their fans plenty to cheer about, that's for sure. Effort, skill, coaching, you name it, they've done it. Here's Duncan. That one off the back iron and out. Wow, what a rough second half for him shooting the basketball. Maybe you adopt a, a pass-first mentality at this point. And that one is good from Bradley Beal. My goodness, have mercy. Breaking ankles like there's no tomorrow. Rosingas with the steal. Beal from long range. Off the mark. And so it's Washington easily grabbing this one. This game may not have been the most exciting we've ever seen, but you have to appreciate just what a clinical performance they put on. I know their fans appreciated it, and we saw at times. <laughs> Nobody took him out. Let's run it again in a private match, bro. He lost by 53. There's no way. There was no indication of just any IQ in this entire match. Absolutely not. 